In Seattle today, a man called the Green River Killer has finally confessed to murdering 48 women and girls, making him the most prolific serial killer in American history. His name is Gary Ridgway. From Seattle, ABC's Neil Karlinski. Gary Ridgway killed so many women, it took nearly an hour to read all the charges. I strangled Cynthia Hines to death. Is that your statement, Mr. Ridgway? Yes, it is. Is it true? Yes. One at a time, Ridgway admitted killing 48 women, usually dumping their bodies in the Green River near Seattle. I strangled Opal Mills to death. Dolores L. Williams. I strangled Deborah Estes to death. Yes. There were nearly a hundred relatives in court. They wept as the prosecutor read Ridgway's written confession. I killed so many women, I have a hard time keeping them straight. I wanted to kill as many women I thought were prostitutes as I possibly could. Is that true? Yes. I picked prostitutes because I thought I could kill as many of them as I wanted without getting caught. The Green River murders terrorized Seattle in the 1980s. Ridgway, a suspect for nearly 20 years, was arrested in 2001 after DNA testing matched him to the crimes. Ridgway managed to avoid the death penalty by reaching a plea agreement in exchange for his cooperation. In these police photos, he's seen leading detectives to some of the places where he buried the victims. He don't deserve to live another day. That view is shared by many in the legal community who believe this case will weaken the state's death penalty. If he didn't get the death penalty, I think the argument can be made, nobody should. Gary Ridgway will spend the rest of his life in prison. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.